सो टूडेज प्रॉब्लम इज टू डिटरमाइन इफ टू स्ट्रिंग्स हाफ्स आर अ लाइक सो लेट्स क्विकली रीड द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम यू गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस ऑफ इवन लेंथ स्प्लिट द स्ट्रिंग इन टू हाफ्स ऑफ इक्वल लेंथ एंड लेट ए बी द फर्स्ट हाफ एंड बी बी द सेकेंड हाफ टू स्ट्रिंग्स आर अ लाइक इफ दे हैव सेम सेट ऑफ वॉवल्स ए आई ओ यू और अपर केस ए आई ओ यू नोटिस दैट इट कंटेन्स अपर केस एंड लोअर केस लेटर्स रिटर्न ट्रू इफ ए एंड बी आर अ लाइक अदरवाइज रिटर्न फॉल्स नाउ लेट अस कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल लीड कोल्ड नाउ दे आर आस्किंग अस टू स्प्लेट दिस वर्ड इन टू टू हाफ्स मीनिंग लीड एंड कोल्ड Now we are supposed to check if the first half of the word and the second word, second half of the word, have the same number of vowels. Now lead has two vowels and code has two vowels as well, O and E, meaning the words are alike. That's it. Let's take another example. Book. Book has two vowels. Let's divide this word into two halves first. B O and O K. This has one vowel and this has one vowel, so these words are alike. Now let's take the last example, which is textbook. Textbook. Divide this into two halves. Text and book. So, text has one vowel, but book has two vowels. Meaning, this. is not an example of a like words now you might ask me what if something with a word with odd number of letters are given if odd number of uh, letters vowels are given like vowel but what is the question say question says that the string is always of the even length meaning the word cannot be of the odd length previous example Lead code. The first part would be to split this word into two halves. Iterate over the first half, then count the number of variables present in the first half. Let's store it in a variable named left vowel. And when we iterate over the second half, let's store the number of vowels present in the second half of the word in the variable right vowel. now when we are iterating over these two words the only condition that we are supposed to check is the number of vowels so let's have an additional function named is vowel to check if the letter that we are currently at while iterating is a vowel or not so what is the condition to check if the given letter is vowel or not is if the letter is either a or e or i or o or u or since the question says that there can be upper case and lower case letters as well so can be a e i o and u after iterating and checking all the vowels and if the conditions pass so will will increment the count of left vowel or the respective right vowel by one so we are currently iterating of the uh, at uh, over the first word then we'll i will increment the left vowel count by 1 otherwise we will increment the right vowel count by 1 if it's the vowel in the end we'll check if left vowel is equal to right vowel or not if it is equal then we'll return true if it's not equal then we shall return false so let's quickly jump to the coding part right now Okay let's just quickly start coding we have the function given halves are alike where will be given a string s now we'll have to get the length of the string first where n is equal to length of s now before we write the function to check whether or not a given letter is vowel let's just you know quickly write the word here so we can easily code it while dividing while dividing it into steps now we have the word lead what's the first step the first step is to split the word into two halves and then iterate over the first half 
and after hydrating what do we do we store the number of vowels in the first half in a variable to store the variable let ha let's have the variables left vowel equals zero and right vowel equals to zero the initialization in python here is important because while we iterate and increment the count there's supposed to be a value which is zero where we start from now then we are iterating over the first half as in we take the for loop for i in range n by 2 and now what we're doing we're checking if the letter if the if the letter we are at is a vowel so if is vowel of s of i as in in the string where we are currently at we're checking if that's a vowel now what's this function let's just quickly define this function now in this function here definition if what what are we sending here we're sending a letter so if current equals equals a or let's just quickly copy paste the so that we don't have to write it so many times if this is a or e or i or o or u and also they want us to have uppercase letters so again a or e or i or o or u now let's just make sure that there's indentation a or e i o and u likewise a e i o and u let's just remove this r now if it's a or e or i or u then we shall written true else we be returning false so this function is to check whether or not the string that's being sent is a vowel or not now if is vowel as in if the function returns true it is a vowel then what are we doing we are incrementing the left vowel count so left vowel plus one now likewise let's iterate over the right half of the word for i in range n by 2 comma n if is vowel of s of i then we'll be incrementing the right vowel plus equals to one now in the end what are we checking we are checking if the left vowel count and the right vowel count is same so if left vowel equal equals right vowel then return true else we return false false um let me just remove this okay we have written the function now we have this now let's quickly run the code it's running and it's accepted for both the test cases let's just quickly submit it we submitted it and it works Talking about the time complexity, since we are iterating over all the elements, the time complexity would be O of n. And the space complexity, since we are not storing any elements anywhere, the space complexity of this would be O of 1. So thank you guys. Keep subscribing to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications and stay tuned for the next video. Let's keep maintaining the streak. Until then, bye-bye.